Hi and welcome to my playhouse. And today we're out driving. I'm at work. Um, well, yeah, I'm pretty much at work already because I'm going to another location. I'm going to a data center. Uh, one hour and three quarters away from where I normally work, so and I'm going out to change a hard drive. And uh, lately, we've been talking a lot about RAID, and this one is a RAID 5 that has crashed. Uh, it's a kind of things that has well, a couple of bad things happened at once. I'm looking that way, that's where the road is. <laughs> um, first, I think it, it this crashed. Um, Maybe I got an alert, but I'm not totally sure because afterwards I wasn't able to communicate with the IMM adapter in that server and um, we've actually seen that server before in my video number 29 one of the very first server videos I ever did we installed this IBM X3650 model 4 and that's the one that has crashed today. It's one of the most popular videos on my channel. So now we're gonna go fix that. We don't don't want my most popular video server to be down, right? So uh, on on my way to fix that, it is a well almost two hour drive. I just came out of the city. I have a I have a hot drive here from Lenovo, which I'm using to stabilize the camera tripod right now so uh, that's why it's all shaking and stuff but uh, I'll do the driving here and I'll see you at the data center that was a long drive but now I'm here on location and let's just go in and see the data center it's very noisy I'm gonna try and yell as high as I can but well this is the front room and this is the where the oopses are located power panels, fire extinguisher, and uh, let's go in. This is the server that is teasing me. Right now it's off because uh, it felt safest to just have the server off until the uh, spare parts could get to it. So over here I've been locking into the uh, IMN on it and we have a disk from Lenovo here for it. So we're gonna bring that. And we're gonna be putting that in. I think this one is bad, but I haven't powered it on. I've been on vacation and stuff, so uh, someone else has been playing with this. works a lot better so let's go in here this is a server raid m5110e so let's go in and check that out and sure enough we have a disk number one here is complaining and also here we have it complaining so um we're not gonna argue about that we're just gonna change it No 
Volvo branded disc and it's a 3 terabyte drive. checking the new drive and hopefully that will turn out good it's still blinking up here and that's because down here it's rebuilding if we go down here uh, on the drives we will be able to see that it's now 1% rebuilt so this is going to be taking a while. And this is why RAID 5 is not always uh, preferred. But uh, right now it's, it's just rebuilding. We could turn on the server now. But uh, yeah, we better have it rebuilt in peace instead of uh, making more errors. Well, there's not much more. Uh, it's it's going to be real building for probably close to one day. But um, this is kind of a messy situation actually because the server crashed because two disks failed in the RAID 5 and you don't get out of that one but luckily we have a good backup of it so it has been restored and then one disk more crashed and it was not supposed to do that and um, I have been looking at these disks that we got and found that only one disk had been changed and then I came with another one and this one wasn't even open. Uh, I just opened this one up. So this is another new disc that um, I'm actually supposed to send back to IBM. I think I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna pay for this one and I'm gonna put it in the server as a hot spam. So um, we will be improving this setup, even though um, the the customer, the server owner, have not asked for a hot spam. I think we'll put it in there uh, just um, so that we don't get into this situation again. So I'm gonna I'm gonna unpack this and put it in. know if it's gonna detect that hot drive right away um, yeah now it's checking it found it so on the screen here we should uh, if I refresh I'll just do that by changing the view 3% now and an unconfigured good 4% now And we're gonna press this unconfigured good there and we're gonna make that a global hot spare make global hot spare go and home so now we have a global hot spare now we have improved the system quite a bit too. So now it's a it's a RAID 5 with a global hotspot. This server is not really important and uh, it stores a lot of data, but it's video data, it's camera data recorded from this site and uh, it's stored there and um, yeah, of course now that they have been missing it for almost two weeks, they might think that this server is more important than it was before. But they decided this themselves that this was an unimportant server. At first they didn't even want to have it backed up. They decided on that though 
and uh, probably in the future they will want to have a better solution for this. I think they have become pretty tired of this not working for a couple of weeks. If I look at the, at the IMM here, it's pretty clear that this array is still not very good. But it, it's actually just telling me that the array on disk number 0, 2 and 3 are in critical condition. And, uh, we are fixing that. Disk number one is good and disk number five is good. And that's the two I just put in. And the three other will be good when they are re when the array is done rebuilding. I'm pretty sure of that. So, uh, yeah, cool. Unfortunately, this, uh, the IMM on the, on the IBM slash Lenovo M4 is not as sophisticated as the M5. In the M5, I had a storage fan here where I could go see stuff about the RAID and I could configure stuff. This IMM adapter does not have that, or this server does not have that. But yeah, it's still cool that I can see the disks. So all these IMM uses Java and it's really a disaster because uh, Java version changed and the browsers don't like it no more and then you can't use the Java that's on the IMMs for very much. So while I'm here, I'm also updating the IMM. I uh, just downloaded new firmware and I'm going to be updating it. And hopefully that will be good as well. Um, here we have to select Axel. Update primary. Yes. Next. This didn't take long, so now we can res restart the IMM. Restarting. Okay. So the firmware has been upgraded and I'm now able to uh, see everything here again. Uh, probably a bad idea to have me right there. The new firmware for the IMM is uh, quite a bit better. And down here I have the local storage thing that I was missing before. So they have incorporated that. And in here the, it says that the drives are good, um, but it's not able to see the RAID controller. Uh, I don't know, maybe the firmware on the RAID controller is too old. I could go try update that, but that's really not what I wanted. The main thing that I wanted was to be able to do remote control. And I tried that and it's still not, it's still not working in, uh, in Google Chrome. So I installed uh, Mozilla Firefox on this one and now I'm actually able to, to start up remote. And I have uh, the remote screen of the server here. So we can see that it's still rebuilding. And we can just go in here, control the right mouse, and see how far it's gotten. It's 24% done. Very nice. Let's go home. So I think I fixed this and I had to negotiate with uh, IBM actually, it's their disk that I've been using for the extra hot spare. But uh, I'm sure they can be persuaded with just money. So um, yeah, thank you for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again. And hopefully we will uh, not run into this problem again. So have a nice day. Bye bye.